Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hypovolemia. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing the binding ritual, getting ourselves a bound blade, and hopefully, maybe even upgrading our altar. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but I did some work between episodes, just a little bit. Um, I now have... I figured out how to check uh, the LP within my blood, uh, within my soul network. Um, you need the divination sigil. I thought that the sigil of sight was basically just an upgraded one that would do the same thing but show more information, but it turns out just the divination sigil. So I've got 150,000 LP in here, uh, which should be enough for what we need. Now, we do need to go ahead and make ourselves a couple things. So if we look at ritual, uh, I've got... 28 ritual stones, and I'm going to need a master ritual stone as well. So to make that thing, it's not too bad. You take four ritual stones, obsidian in the corner, and then a blood orb in the middle, and that makes you the master ritual stone, which is essentially going to be the center of your uh, ritual thing. So over here, I think, is where we'll actually put our uh, stuff, and I think we'll go... Is this going to be enough space? Uh, yeah, it should be. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we're going to make, like, a little circle-y thingy around here. Um, like this. And this should all connect, right? Yes, good. Then we'll go ahead and fill those in with ritual stones like this. And then behind them, we'll put two ritual stones like this. Now, you can build this manual. You can, uh, there is another way to do it. You can use the ritual diviner. And basically, um, I think you shift right click the master ritual stone in the middle there. And it will actually set up this whole thing for you. Uh, assuming you have the stuff in your inventory, but to make that, I need four diamonds and an emerald, and I do not have four diamonds and an emerald, and I don't have the stuff uh, to make that at the moment either. I could grind here and get coal for a while, but I'll just do it manually. It's a little bit, it's not a big deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the water inscription tool, and on these ones that are straight, we're going to put water on the top there. And then we will take Earth and do these guys over here like that, okay? Then we're basically going to take the opposite of them. So the opposite of water is fire. And we'll put that down here on these guys. And then finally, the opposite of Earth is air. And we'll put those right here. So that should be everything we need to do our ritual and get the bound blade Let's go ahead and grab the diamond sword out of here. There we go. And I believe we just throw this guy onto the altar and right-click it with the master activation ritual. And we're going to get all sorts of crazy lightning effects and crazy things like that. It's going to go crazy, and then it's going to spit out this bound blade for us. And we'll just go ahead and put out the fire. And we're going to leave this set up like so, so that we can do more binding rituals in the future. Now, I believe that used... That used about 5,000 LP, which actually isn't too bad. I thought it was going to use more than that, but I'll take it. Uh, and that actually opens up another quest for us right here. And that's going to give us a block of diamond, which is awesome because we need that. Okay, we can use all the diamonds we can get right now. So, we're good there. Um, I'm just going to put the block of diamond in here. And we'll just put a bunch of this other stuff away that I don't really need right now. There we go. And we have the bound blade. So, the bound blade is used to get those weak uh, blood... Chris, uh, what are they called? Weak blood... Weak blood shards. Here you go. And if we just go down and... Why why does this look like an orb? That's a little weird. It it it's a little weird that it looks like an orb. I'm I'm just saying. I feel like that shouldn't look like an orb. But we should have all sorts of mobs and stuff down here. So let's head on down. See if we can maybe find some mobs and kill them and hopefully get 
a couple of those weak blood shards because that's what we really need to kind of progress further. Um, uh, let's just do this so I can chop my way through here. Does killing a bat give you a chance by any... Hey, hey, go. No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we've got the bone blade. I. It's weird that it doesn't look like a sword, though. I feel like it should. I feel like it should look like a sword. Um, I also don't particularly want to go over there and fall into the lava. Yeah, there's lava all over the place around here. Hmm, where can I go? We just need to find ourselves a mob. That's really all we need. Um, and I don't know if it's a 100% drop rate or what, but let's see. This is probably all going to be torched up. Oh, here we go. This looks, this is dark. This looks promising. Maybe up here we'll find what we're looking for? Come on. Pickaxe, not sword. There we go. Um, then again... Maybe not. Let's see. And it doesn't look like this is taking durability damage from breaking those, so that's good. I wonder if the Bound Blade actually has a durability, or if it just uses LP. I think it might just use LP for durability. Oh, hello, chest. Hello! Let's be friends. Um... Mobs? Oh, I hear them. I hear mobs. I Oh, I see one. Okay. Um Let's pillar up there. Hi. No. Yes. Can we This is not working. This is not working at all. I don't know why it's not working, but it's not working. I might actually die here. Let's just put a torch down. Okay, so why my Bound Blade is not actually damaging things? Oh, there we go. Shift, shift right click. Oh, so it converts back and forth. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Uh, as I've said several times, I'm pretty new to blood magic, so you'll have to forgive my noobishness when it comes to some of this stuff. It's not something I've really used a whole lot. I feel like there have to be a chicken. Hi. I'll take you. Um, I didn't feel like dragging him all the way back. Put that there. Why are there no mobs? There should be mobs everywhere around here. I think, maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe what we'll have to do... Uh, let's put this down as well. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could go into the nether. There's tons of mobs in the nether. I don't really want to make the pigment mad at me, though. Which is basically what I would be doing. Okay, there were mobs over here at some point. Because I can see the bones from the skeletons. Ah! Hi! Hold still. Okay. I killed a mob, but, uh... Did not... Give me a blood shard. I guess we'll just keep looking around up here. So let me do a little exploring. Let me see if I can find some mobs to kill. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I just killed an Enderman, and that actually got me an Ender Pearl and a weak blood shard. So very good find there. And then we've got a zombie here, but no, no blood shard from the zombie. That's okay. I'll take the Ender Pearl. I really needed an ender pearl anyway. Uh, in fact, I think I actually am going to be needing a couple of different en of ender pearls, but that's okay. That is a great stroke of luck. Um, but I'd like to get a few more weak blood shards than what we have right here, so let me keep looking around. 
I'll come back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I figured it might just be easiest to just do some of this at night. Just kill... A... Oh, okay. Witch needs to die. Kill the witch, kill the skeleton, and then kill this skeleton as well. There we go. Whew. That was a little close, but that got us... We're up to four bleak... Uh, four weak blood shards now, which is great. We're gonna need uh, quite a few of them, I have a feeling. Oh, hello, Enderman. Where'd he go? Hi. Oh, almost. Hold still. Got him. No Ender Pearl, though. Man, really hoping for an Ender Pearl there. That's okay. We're just gonna keep going at these guys. And I'm gonna keep trying to get more weak blood shards, uh, fight my way through the night, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I got my hands on 14 weak blood shards over the course of the night. Now, it also appears that this thing does not have uh, durability. It just uses, uh, basically, life essence from your blood network. So, that is awesome. That means we'll probably want to get into some more bound tools here. Uh, probably a bound pickaxe will be the next one. Um, and maybe a bound shovel eventually as well. But we need more diamond before we can do that. So, let's just go ahead and fill this thing up. It shouldn't take too long to reach full LP in my network again. But ultimately, the reason that I wanted to do that, I mean, obviously there's some pretty cool things that you can make using these blood shards, but I also need to make bloodstone bricks. And bloodstone bricks, I thought, here we go, it's smooth stone and a weak blood shard. And that'll actually make 32 of these guys, for, which is kind of crazy, uh, considering there's only one block going into it. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. So, there we go. We got ourselves 32 large bloodstone bricks, and we're going to need that to upgrade our altar to the next level. So, ooh, Emmy storage cell, very nice. And three more runes of augmented capacity, also very nice. This, though, is what I really need, the master blood orb. So... To make the Master Blood Orb, which is this guy, I need a Tier 4 Altar. And then I need to put a Weak Blood Shard in there. The Tier 4 Altar, though, I'm not entirely sure how the what the configuration is. I believe it's very similar to this one, uh, except it goes out another level, and then it goes up even further, and basically, like, right here we would have these uh, large bloodstone bricks on top of it. I believe that's how it works. So, we're going to need to make more runes. We're going to have to do all sorts of things like that to upgrade this altar even a bit further. Uh, and that's going to take a little while. So, let me get some stuff done here, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So, I've got most of the stuff ready for the uh, Tier 4 altar. I've got, uh, I had enough runes lying around. I haven't made any new runes, um, but I had most of this stuff lying around, so we're almost at the point where I can make the tier four altar. Uh, let's grab those, and by making ten imbued slates, I can complete this quest right here and get thirteen more runes, so we will take those as well. Um, let's do... One, two, three, four, five, right here. We'll go like that. And then we can put our runes of augmented capacity over here. These are in no particular order, and they will be upgraded and swapped out for other runes later. But for now, I figure we might as well just get them in place. Uh, and I think that'll be good. So, we are in good shape there, right? Yes? Okay. So I think all we need to do is cap that off and that off. Oh, and that one and that one. And I think this is now a tier four altar. Maybe, maybe not. Um, what did I miss? No, it definitely still says Tier 3. These are down and out. 
I don't think it has to be. Oh! Aha! I see the problem. These need to go down one more block. That's what's going on. Okay, that's an easy fix, actually. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, I do want to get myself uh, some new tools as well before I do that. I'm going to make uh, an Im a bound pick. Uh, so we'll take that out, put this guy in, put two sticks in there. That'll make me a pickaxe, like so. And then a bound shovel as well. And that should use all of this so we can shut that off. And we're going to start with the pick because a bound pick will make this go much faster than it would otherwise. So we'll put that in there. It is going to take a little while. It takes 20,000 LP. Uh, and I want to do the same for an axe and a shovel too. So this is going to take a little while, guys. So let me get to work. And I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got myself the diamond pickaxe, and I think we are good to go for this binding ritual right here. We'll let it do it. We'll let it do its thing. And that should give us a pretty sweet pickaxe, which will make tearing up that whole thing a lot easier than it was uh, or than it would have been otherwise, because, yeah, I didn't really feel like making another iron pickaxe anyway, so... Um, there we go, bound pick, and shift right click, there we go, let's just make sure, oh yeah, that's fast, that's way faster than what it was, uh, or than the iron pick, and it doesn't take the, uh, it, I, I'll never have to remake it, all, I, all, I, all I will ever have to do is just put more essence into my blood network, so I'll take it, not too bad at all, not too bad. Okay, so let me get this all ready to go for a tier 4 altar, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. Alright guys, I am back, and we have ourselves a tier 4 altar. Look at this, tier 4, fantastic. So, um, right now I'm working on making a bound shovel, and I will be making a bound axe as well. I think I should probably go and do something like this, just so we can get up and down the altar. Oh, wow. Suddenly unable to place blocks properly. There we go. Okay. And there we go. So, we've got the tier 4 altar. Comes up all the way up here, and I think we are in good shape on that account. So, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We've got a bound sword and a bound pick. Now, um, we did go ahead and make the blood shard, and the reason, the big reason that I wanted to get it into the blood shard was so that I can make this stuff. Floral fertilizer. I need living root, bone, and bone meal in an alchemical chemistry set to make floral fertilizer. Living root is oak saplings and weak blood shards. So, if we sneak over here and I just steal a stack of oak saplings, like that. Oh, actually... You know what? I can just take them out of here, and it'll be fine. Let's put those back. Uh, that way it won't it won't grab anything it's not supposed to. There we go. We'll just grab a stack. And I'm not going to have enough uh, weak blood shards to actually get, you know, way more of those. But we can grab these right here. Go, where is our alchemical chemistry set? Hi, zombie. <laughs> No? No weak blood orb? No? Okay. Well, I was hoping. That's okay. Uh, is there any areas around here that are spawnable areas now, though? Maybe? Doesn't look like it. Maybe just, like, right here? And here, maybe. Okay. Anyway. So, let's head over to this guy. And it was a weak... Let's make five? Right? Okay, there's definitely a spawnable area around here somewhere. I'll find it later. Whatever. So, this is going to slowly turn into floral for, or in, well, yeah. it'll First it'll turn into living root, and then I'll uh, turn it into floral fertilizer. Which we can use for Botania. Uh, and to get into Botania, which is going to be awesome, because I've been wanting to do that for quite a while now. Okay. 
So we've got our living root. We'll put that here. We'll put five bone meal in there, and that will start pumping out floral fertilizer. Uh, also, looks like our diamond shovel is all cleaned up as well, so let's do that. And then finally, we'll just put the axe in, uh, and that will start turning into a diamond axe. I'll throw that right here, and we'll get ourselves a bound shovel. That'll take a minute. Do, 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 do. Come on, bound shovel, do the thing. There we go. Did it work? It did. Awesome. Okay. So now we've got the bound shovel as well. Let's, let's do that. There we go. And I'm going to run down to down below the tree farm, grab a bunch of dirt, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys. I am back. So I've got myself a bunch of dirt. And we got to figure out where we're going to put our Botania stuff. I'm thinking we'll just put it over here for now. This seems like a relatively good spot. So let's just kind of lay out a bunch of dirt over here. There we go. Oh, what? What? I have no idea what just happened. I feel like I just broke a bunch of things that I didn't intend to break. Um, was that a... Was that a thing? Did I do a thing? Was that... I? Oh, I bet that was an effect of the bound pick. Okay. Um, that was... That was not intentional. That was very not intentional. Uh, okay. So, let's just make a little staircase to get back up there. We've got water flowing over here. Note to self, be careful with bound things. Um, so this can apparently mine out a very large area at a time. Which I was not aware of. Um, okay. So... How much... I, I don't even know how much is sitting there. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. It's okay. Note to self, we've got a nice big area down there that we can use for stuff if we want to. Also, note to self, don't shift, don't, don't right-click with bound pickaxe. Um, yeah, I'm just going to assume that that's what happened. I don't even know for sure, because as, as I've said several times, blood magic's still very, very new to me. Um... But if that was the tr if that was the case, please leave a comment below and let me let me know that that's what happened, uh, just so I know for sure. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good, and this is a decent sized area. Let's do let's expand it by two more, and then I think I've actually got a pasture seed um, down underneath my place. Uh, or in my in my chest over there. So I think I can actually come on now. There we go. I think I can actually spread grass to this. I think. Uh, we're gonna find out. That may be incorrect, but we're gonna look and see. Uh, is it in here? Oh no, it's an overgrowth seed, which is actually better. Uh, but let's see about maybe getting ourselves some Botania flowers. Okay, that's a decent amount. I really do need uh, more than that, though. I'm going to need um, more white mystical flowers. So I think we're going to have to make ourselves some more floral fertilizer. Not a big deal. Let me see what I can do here, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I almost forgot to actually complete the quest for this. So, yeah, that could have been bad. But we will claim this. And then we need, basically, uh, looks like one of each of the mystical flowers. Uh, and we do have more living root here. And more bone meal there. So, let's turn that into floral fertilizer as well. And then I got some floral fertilizer for completing that other quest. So let's go ahead and use that, too. 
There we go. That's quite a lot. That's a lot of mystical flowers. Hopefully this will be all of them that I actually need. No, I'm still missing black. Okay. Well, I have a feeling that with this, we may... There's a black one. Okay, awesome. So, we've got all the mystical flowers now. Which is great. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. Beautiful. And that will allow us to complete this quest. Oh, and then it wants me to turn all of them into petals. Which I suppose I can do. Um, that wouldn't really be that big of a deal. Let's maybe make another chest. Do I have... Is this a regular chest? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's make an iron chest. Uh, in fact, we'll make a golden chest uh, for our Botania stuff. There we go. That looks good. We'll put that here. I'm just going to put the iron chest right over here. And all of our mystical flowers are just going to chill in there <laughs> for the moment. And our Lexica Botania as well. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we're going to hold off on uh, getting into Botania right this very moment. We'll get into it probably next episode. In fact, we will get into it next episode. But I do want to go ahead and make a bound axe as well. And then I think it would probably be wise of me. This isn't still on, is it? No, it's off. Okay, I think it would be wise of me to put some more LP into my blood uh, or into my life net, my soul network, soul network, uh, because these things, uh, these tools are going to use LP whenever I use them. So I'm going to throw that in there. And let's see, we're currently sitting at 65,000, which is a decent amount. Um, there we go. Turn that into an axe as well. And I think... That is good. I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. We got a lot done. We got into a higher tier blood altar. We got bound everything tools. So, yeah. I, and we even got kind of a slight bit of a start here on Botania as well. So, I'm pretty happy with our, our progress in this episode. Uh, but I am out of time for this one, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.